Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60, and I am here today to do my top 20 items from 2020. I am doing this in collaboration with two of my very dear friends on YouTube, Natalie the Beauty Diva and Old Carol from The Old Carol Show. Natalie and I became quick friends. We started our channels about the same time. And in fact, I have spent time with Natalie in Canada and she is like my little sister and I love her dearly. I also love Carol and if Carol would still have been living in Las Vegas, I would have met her. But she moved to California, so we didn't get to meet. But I watched Carol from the old Carol show before I even started my channel. Fell in love with her and I will definitely put their links below. And I hope you go watch and see what their favorites of 2020 are. If you don't know them, I think you probably should get to know them. I have done this seven times and I will leave at the end of my video, I will leave a playlist to all my favorites. This is my seventh time. The first two years I did it as a challenge. Natalie had done it and she had challenged anybody who had a YouTube channel to do it, name their 14 of 2014. And the last five years, Natalie, Carol, and I have all been collabing. So I really enjoy doing this and it takes a lot of thought. It really does. I make my own rules. <laughs> we all make our own rules on what we're gonna do. My rules are, I can't mention something that I have mentioned in the past years and it has to be something I purchased myself. And what I try to do is list everything that has been the most enjoyable in some way because there's a lot of items on here. Most of them are what you would consider home and lifestyle, but I really truly believe that anything that makes you happy is a beauty item. It is, anything that makes you happy. And I'm gonna start out with my first. It is my old refrigerator that is still working and is in our garage. I love having an extra refrigerator. It does leak a little and we haven't gotten that fixed, but it's concrete floor in the garage and, and that's okay. But it has been so handy. When we get groceries, just, you know, pull in the garage, put some things in that refrigerator and that way my the refrigerator in the house which is my second favorite thing doesn't get so full and what i just do i just take a little uh, basket and go out to the refrigerator and bring in what i need it is a luxury to have two but we both said if something goes wrong with that refrigerator that is we would definitely want to get another one and you may hear all sorts of sounds it is pouring rain here right now but we've really had an excellent autumn the second thing is my new refrigerator. I will put a link to the one that I got in case you want to see it. It has the French doors and everything's just right there in view. And then the freezer is on the bottom and I have organized my the freezer on the bottom and it has just been so helpful. But I love how everything is where it should be and it's just easy to clean. Even though I was concerned about cleaning a stainless steel uh, refrigerator, it hasn't been a problem at all. And we've really enjoyed that. You've heard me speak of frothers for a long time. I have been using a frother continually since at least 1990. And the first ones I bought were from QVC and they were like $40 and I loved them. This one I found on Amazon. It's the Powerlux. It has a stand. It's, it has batteries and it has been excellent. And I always have a backup. Well, when I filmed a video some time ago and I had this in here, I dropped it and broke it. So I thought, well, I'm gonna order a, a backup. And when I did, I found this and this is a rechargeable and it has double wire rings on the bottom. And this, I let it go for about a month and then I charged it, it has a little USB port but I love it. It comes in three speeds and this is, you can remove this and put a little beater on the end of it, but I will be repurchasing the rechargeable one the next time I need one. But anyway, it made me happy. And now I'm going to go on and talk about my Nespresso. And if I can figure out how to do it, I'm going to put some footage in here and show you how I froth my coffee and how my Nespresso works. I bought my Nespresso from Amazon, but I have since found it less expensive other places, and I will put links to the exact one I have. I drink a cup of Nespresso every day. It comes in all different sizes. The one that I made in this video, if it turns out 
that was a five and a half ounce pod. But I just love it because I love coffee. And it has been such a pleasure every day looking forward to my cup of Nespresso coffee. And I love that the metal pods, you can send them back to, they provide an envelope with postage paid and you can send them back free of charge and they recycle it. So I really have been enjoying my Nespresso. I'll put a picture in here. This we purchased last year. It's the Ninja Foodie Flip Up Oven. And had I known we were going to put it where we put it, I would not have, I wouldn't have picked out one that flipped up. But it does baking, air frying, it does everything. And what I love about it, it doesn't heat up your whole kitchen, especially in the summer. And it just does thing quick, things quickly. Like for Thanksgiving, I baked a pecan pie in that oven and it just came out perfectly. We have used it a ton this year. When I made dressing, I, you could toast nine pieces of toast to perfection in just a few minutes. So I, I'm loving that. I'll eventually get to the makeup, but I'll put a time in here if, if when I start talking about anything that's beauty, because this may be boring to you. So many of you recommended the next product and it's the OXO Good Grips Can Opener. <laughs> it made my top. It did. I mean, it's just effortless. I love the big grip that it has. I just love how easy it is to use, and I thank you for the recommendation. And there's something else some of you helped me with. I loved my little Corel bowls. I think they're four-ounce bowls, and I only had one. You all suggested I go to e eBay, and I found it, and this is how big it is. This is the original pattern I got like in 1972, but I love the size of them. So I love my little Corel bowls and I don't think they make this size anymore. So I was so happy to get them. So now I have five. The next item, I have bought quite a few of these. I've given them as gifts and I've got some to give as Christmas gifts. And there's some magnetic measuring spoons. And what's so special about them, number one, they all stay together and you don't have to wash all of them. You can just, that's some of my slacker ways. But you can just wash the one you need. But it has the elongated bowl and that goes into the little jars of spices. You can use one, you can use either one for liquid, but sometimes something calls for a tablespoon of something dry and a tablespoon of something wet. And you don't want, you know, anyway, I've got two. The only thing about these, you don't want to put them in your silverware drawer because the magnet will draw some spoons or whatever you have in there that's metal. But I keep them in my cabinet. And it also has a leveler on it. And I've never used the leveler. I've never, you know, but it's there if I need it. I still have not found my key fob. So I have got my tile has to be my Tile Mate or Tile Pro. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put a link if you want to see what they look like. They're like this. I lost my key fob. So I was scared to death I was going to lose this too because I usually don't lose things. But anyway, I, I think I'll find it. So I attach this to my key ring. And I have an app on my phone, and if I'd ever lose my keys, I just have to go to that app and say, find my keys, and these will ring. And I think these will go 500 feet, and I'm not going to lose If I lose them, they're going to be probably a lot closer than that. But the something I love about it, if I lose my phone, and I'm here by myself, and if I have to have the volume turned down, I can hit this twice, and my phone will ring and until I find it. So I love it. I bought these as gifts. And they have an assortment pack. You can put them on your, in your wallet, these different size ones. And you can put it like on a remote control or any of your diabetic management, you know, machines that you need to, you have to have. There's so many things you could use them for. And it's definitely my favorite. And I really do think I'll find my key. But I've given myself till April to find it. And if I haven't found it, I'm going to get another key for $300. The next item I ordered and I had approved by a good friend of mine who is a retired fire inspector. And I sent her the link to have her check it out. It's a fireproof envelope. And she had a friend of hers check it out to see if it was fireproof. And she gave it the A-OK. -okay. And it's this one right here. It has two places you can put things. I believe, I've got all my important papers. I wish this was full of cash but it isn't. Jim keeps his papers in a different place than I do, but he knows where this is. My kids know where it is. And if ever anything happened to me, my passport's in here. 
just any paper that they would need. So I bought these as gifts for Christmas and, and I'm really happy. I hope I never have to tell you that it worked, but I feel better just having everything in one place in a fireproof envelope. This year, on I think it was on March 5th, I started really watching my carbohydrates, my simple carbs, you know, flour, all those things. And something that I bought about five years ago has has been my favorite this year. Because like when you're trying to watch and you don't know exactly what a serving is, sometimes you kind of forget. This is my Waymax. It does pounds, it does grams. You turn it on, you put your plate there, then you hit the tar button, then you put in your whatever you want, and it tells you how much it weighs. And I also use this when I'm doing freezing chili, when I'm freezing soups, I just kind of want them all to be about the same size. So I will weigh them on that, and Jim thinks that's pretty nutty. But I love my food scale, and it's been working for five years. This year, I found the Everything Bagel Seasoning Blend, and I purchased several of them, and it's also helped me with my healthy eating. I love the combination of spices. I've used it on everything except I haven't had a bagel, but I like it on cottage cheese. I like it on almost any vegetable. It just really is very flavorful. So I this, yeah, it's one of my faves. And something that has also really helped me out this year, I started, I started buying these a year ago, last October, but, and I, I would have them occasionally, but once I started really watching in March what I was eating, I started buying more of the Built Bars, and I really like them. And they're coming out with new flavors, new, like white chocolate. They have a white chocolate covering, but they're the Built Bars. They're high in protein, low in carbohydrates for me. I don't know, they're gluten-free, and they just taste good. And how I test something to see if I'm sensitive to it, and what I mean by sensitive, like if I have an empty stomach, if I haven't had anything to eat, if I would eat something sweet, not like this, you know, in the morning, it causes me to crave things throughout the day. And some of the low carb things still do that. This doesn't. I don't usually have it on an empty stomach, but I tried it and it does, it doesn't cause me to crave anything else. So I've really, really been appreciating them and enjoying them this year. Now we're on to kind of more traditional beauty things. The first thing I want to mention absolutely thrilled me to no end. My friend Mary from the channel Glitzy Fritzy Sigma asked her to do a collaboration and pick out her essential eye kit, eye brush kit. I mean, that is a huge deal. Somebody in the mature beauty community, she's in her 50s, and they asked her to do a collaboration. She's just a young kid, you know. But anyway, I loved that they did that. I love her brushes. Each brush can be purchased individually, and these are what she considers the most important eye brushes to use and they are excellent. They are soft, they wash well. You can you can you know you can do a whole eye look easily with just a couple of these brushes. But I was absolutely thrilled for her. So congratulations Mary. A couple of months ago I did a video where I truly this year I really kind of went through well I did. I went through most all of my skincare and decided what was working and what wasn't. Well, I have never mentioned this in a favorite, so I can talk about it now. It's the vitamin C serum. I went 15 days without using it on this side of my face, and I could just see, I could see a huge difference after the third day, the fourth day. But this spot right here that is a cauterization scar from when I was like four years old, it started getting darker. And what I use, I either use a Timeless or the Skin Diva. They both have the exact same ingredients. It's wherever I can get them, least expensive. I've got a $5 off this. I've got 20% off that. It makes them virtually the same. You can order them from Amazon, and I have, and I've had really good luck. I've never had a problem with anything. I keep my vitamin C in my main refrigerator, and I just get, leave my dressing room, walk into the kitchen, and put it on my face and then I do a few little jobs because I want to keep that on for 20 minutes but this has really been a big part of my skincare. I think this was the second product I used after Retin-A but I've been using it for over six years and I have never had one go bad because I do keep it in the refrigerator and I think it's about four months. I think I get four months use because I use three to four drops and it's something that if you haven't used it before 
you want to kind of do it slowly. You want to use it in the morning. You don't want to use it when you use Retin-A and you want to protect your skin. But it's something that if you have never tried, you I still can't use it on my neck. And around the holidays, they usually have a sale over Thanksgiving. I know they both had sales. Timeless had 50% off, uh, $75. That, you know, that we showed the details. Sometimes I don't need that much, but you know, I just just kind of watch out around the holidays. They they usually have sales because you know I want to you guys to get the best deal you possibly can. Last year I started using Grande Brow on my eyebrows. I used two of the small tubes and I opened and I used them every night and I opened this June 22nd and I use it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I do not have to put anything on my brows. I am fine with my brows just the way they are when I use this Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'm makes me happy that I was never good at doing brows. I never, if, if I did too much, it just made me not look good. I don't know. I just never did enjoy doing eyebrows. And I love that I don't have to. So. <laughs> and the next, the rest of these items that I'm talking about, I bought last year. I bought some ColourPop Just a Tint. And this one I've used up. I've got several of them. But what I like about them, I like the smell, and I let they remind me so much. I love the Neutrogena moisture sticks that they had, and when I went cruelty free over five years ago, I couldn't buy those, and these are the first that I have tried that remind me of them. There's only one negative thing about them, unless they've changed. The cap doesn't snap down, and it's fine if you have them in your dressing room, but I would never carry this in my purse. But I have, but my purse has only been out of the house twice since March 11th. But I really do like these. Last year, I bought the, some lipstick from It Cosmetics, and this is the Pillow Lips. And this is the color I have on today. And it's called Wish List. I love this formula. This is my first one. I'm still on my first one on this shade. This is marvelous, and this is my second one. And I got this free when I placed an order. I bought some gifts, oh, probably a few months ago. And the reason I even placed it, bought the gifts early was because you could get this free. So I love this. I like the way it makes my lips feel. You don't have to ever, I never have to use a lip liner. And the cream formula, which is what I like, it just feels good for a long time. And what's really funny now, is I will wear lipstick. I always have something on my lips. And before I leave to go anywhere, I take my lipstick off. Just the up, but I always wear lipstick. I, that's my very favorite thing when it comes to beauty. The next item I bought last year, and I did not use them. I purchased them not for their intended use. And I have some on today. And they're on my shoulders. And they're called Adhesive Silicone Bra Cups. And I have a pair on, and here is another pair so I can show you. And I just store them on this paper. You peel them off, and it will stick. You can wash them. I just wash them with water. I haven't had the opportunity to wear them as much as I would like to, but I love them, it, especially like if your shirt's a little bit big, or I just kind of like the look of my shoulders need to be a little bit broader. But some of you that have ordered these, have told me that you really like them and after I wear them I just put them back on a sheet and I store them in my drawer so they are definitely a winner I have never tried them for my as a bra but they stay on and they're so comfortable and I tell you how I found out about them is I left a comment on somebody's channel and I said do they still make good shoulder pads because I'm needing some more and as somebody a viewer wrote underneath my comment try and they told me the exact name and I went to Amazon and I typed in those words and I thought no I was I don't want bra pads and then I thought ding that's what they do they you wear them on your shoulder and the ones I have on I have trimmed back but they made my list this time and this is the blush I have been wearing the most and it is from Buxom it is a Wonderlust primer infused blush and it's in the shade Dolly and that happens to be my, one of my very favorite Buxom Lip Gloss shades. And I don't know if you can see it from here, but I think it really gives just a pretty flesh of color with just a tiny, tiny bit of reflection. But it's not enough to make any of, you know, your wrinkles or your pores stand out more. 
but I've really enjoyed this. And I have two honorable mentions because I did not purchase these. These aren't in my top 20, but I had to mention them because I really like them. Uh, one of these has taken the place of my Benigma, and up until now, it's it's working. I don't know what the winner's going to hold, but I still have my jar of Benigma in the refrigerator. It's from Dermatology. They sent me these, and this is something I definitely will repurchase. It's the Tinted Moisturizer with the 46 SPF and the Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This is a very light tint. It, it's, it's not enough, really, to give you good coverage, but it's nice. I'm really sensitive to sunscreens. They tend to break me out and they are hard to get off. And both of these products have really worked well for me. And that's all I've got. That is all I've got. I've um, still been uploading every other week. Some of you have been coming to on the Sunday that I don't upload, been watching old videos and leaving me a comment. We've had some good conversations. I hope you go and watch Carol and Natalie. And, and thank you, Carol. Thank you, Natalie, for doing this. Thank you, Natalie, for inviting us to do this. I appreciate it uh, so much. So if you're not familiar with Natalie and Carol, please go check out their videos and tell them I said hi. It is all good. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. And I've been really, really thrilled. What I really like about it, this year has... So I attach this to my phone. They're just... It doesn't, I haven't been anywhere pretty.